Hi! One of the worst types of loss is the loss of a sense of well-being that comes when we lose part of ourselves. This is a terrible loss, and as women we often feel this kind of loss when we don't get our own needs met or we do for others so much that there's nothing left to give to ourselves. Lots of times we get inspired and hopeful by some wonderful inspiration, whether it's through a book or a sermon or cleansing ourselves around a holiday, such as in the Jewish faith, Yom Kippur, when you can cleanse your soul and start afresh. It's great. But once the holiday is over and you're back in your life, cleansing is not always enough because if we don't have the tools, we don't know how to protect ourselves and keep ourselves whole. I know this from many, many years of listening to women's stories and living my own life as a woman. So that's why I am so, so convinced that it's not just the inspiration, it's the perspiration that goes with learning the tools. I like the idea of the seven gateways to happiness because each gateway is a tool. It's a specific tool you can learn, always have in your bag of tricks, even when things go badly, even when you fall off your horse, even when Prince Charming doesn't come, even when you turn into Sleeping Beauty and you, you can't wake yourself up and you don't know what to do about it. These are the tools you can grab hold of again. So I am going to teach you all seven tools. There's no reason why they should be kept from you. Are you ready? I hope so. I'm ready.